What's up, beer lovers? Um, yeah, I've got a ton of glasses laying in front of me. And I've got a six-pack of dogfish head. So, I'm going to try to answer the question. Does the glass you enjoy your beer with actually make a difference on how you enjoy the beer? Um, and I've got a wealth of choices of glasses here. I've got, <clears throat> this is one of the reasons I chose dogfish head. I've got dogfish heads, brand new IPA glass, made purposely for this beer. And there are other IPAs as well, I believe. I've got Sam Adams, perfect pint. I've got, and a lot of people say that we should get rid of this glass, a shaker pint. Standard pint glass you get in any bar, almost any time. There is a movement to get rid of this glass. And I don't quite understand why, but we're going to see if maybe they're onto something. And then just to see what would happen, I also have a wine glass. <clears throat> I have a coffee cup. I have a shot glass. And I also have some kind of glass. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a brandy glass or whatever. I found it someplace. And uh, maybe it's a little baby of uh, the dogfish head glass. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fill these all up with exactly the same beer out of the same six pack. And then we're going to go through them and see, you know, really, is there a reason to need a special glass to enjoy a beer? Does it help? Does it add anything? Does it take away something if you're not in that glass? So without further ado, I'm going to start opening them up, filling them up. Um, I may edit out some of this. Uh, who wants to see me just sit here and pour beers for two or three minutes? But uh, I don't know if I come up with something good to say while I'm doing it. Maybe I'll leave it in. So anyway, we'll give the honors to uh, Dogfish Head's glass. And if anybody knows what this glass really is, drop me a comment in the comments below. Just out of curiosity. Uh, not really sure exactly what type of beer or glass that is. It's definitely not a beer glass. Maybe barley wine. Ah, breakfast of champions. Right there. So you should have your breakfast. Alrighty. Well, anyway, uh, just taking a look at them. Really in the little funny glass, I don't know what it's called. And the dogfish head glass. And the wine glass, the beer looks the prettiest. There's some bubbles hanging on to the sides. Um, the nucleated bottom of the dogfish head glass is really sending a nice stream of tiny little bubbles right up the middle um, the rest of them I a coffee cup you can't see the beer the shot glass looks like a shot of whiskey uh, not really a beer um, so if the appearance matters in any way uh, those are the differences I see there now I'm gonna just pick them up smell them taste them see what see what's going on um, I'll probably have to top the shot glass and the little guy up but the rest of these I'm probably going to cut, break, and uh, take them down halfway or so and come back with my thoughts on them. And then probably finish them off and come back again. I do have some help. I'm not going to drink all four and a half beers by myself. Thought I could if I wanted to. Anyway, you do get a nice bit of aroma from this glass. But that's ruined for me. Not on a flavor or anything to do with that. I'll explain that later um, when it gets a little lower. Ah, the perfect pint. About the same bouquet as the last one. Not much difference. Mm. This glass comes to the lip really well. Standard pint. Um, again, almost the same bouquet coming out of that. Almost the same flavor. Guess what? So far, I haven't found much of a difference in any of these. Now for the little bit odder ones. Smells better than any glass of wine I've ever had, I can tell you that. At 
I'll tell you what, if you had a really special beer and just wanted to taste it, this would actually be a really fine glass for doing so. It feels kind of special in your hand. Um, but as far as the bouquet or anything like that, it was really about the same as the bigger glasses. You got it about uh, an inch away or so, and you could clearly smell the beer that was in it. It didn't make it smell any better or worse than any of the other ones, so um, I'm really not seeing much of a difference there. Now to the coffee cup, which <laughs> all it looks like is a big mug of foam right now. Uh, really can't see what's going on inside there. Now this has actually somewhat subdued the aroma coming out of the uh, a glass. It, it isn't as prevalent, so maybe coffee cups aren't the best choice for drinking a beer out of, but it does have a convenient handle. Makes it taste about the same though. And for the shot glass. Surprisingly, it's letting the aroma out quite nicely. Um, yeah, really, you actually can smell the beer, which is kind of surprising. Maybe not quite as much as some of the bigger glasses, but guess what? It tastes the same in that, too. Well, anyway, here's the point I'm going to cut. I'm going to sit back and enjoy these, uh, share them with my partner, collect our thoughts on them and come back at about the midway point all right well me and my partner have drank the glasses down to about the halfway and um the only thing we're both concisive on so far is the shot glass is a totally inappropriate glass for beer it it doesn't lend to enjoyment of beer at all it it holds too little it makes you want to do a shot, and it's just not a beer drinking glass. So the, the shot glass is completely out. Don't, don't enjoy your beer in a shot glass, and I expected to find it. Now, we also did come to another consensus. This little glass, whatever this is, please, somebody out there let me know, is a really fun glass to drink out of. And it, and it does a really nice job of conveying the aroma and conveying the taste. And we're of the opinion that this may be... One of the finest glasses for doing a three to four ounce sample of beer. Um, like if you had a 12 ounce, you wanted to split amongst three or four people just so everybody had a chance to taste it. Something really special, really nice. Um, you only had one bottle or something and wanted to share it. This would be an excellent tasting glass. But to sit down in a pub and drink a pint of it, well, you ain't fitting a pint in it. So not a really good glass there. Now, coffee cups are also not appropriate glasses for a beer. For some reason, not only is the aroma and flavor subdued in them, it, it ends up, almost gets a creamy consistency, changes the entire mouthfeel and body of the beer. Um, it's an odd phenomenon. I don't know if it's because of the coffee residue still in a glass or if it's because of the glazed porcelain or what, but it's really not a good choice for... Um, drinking beer out of as well uh, to enjoy your beer out of but I will say this for it it held its head the longest out of any of the glasses of beer and there again that may come down to the the difference with the porcelain versus glass so now we're on to the wine glass the shaker pint the perfect pint and dogfish heads IPA glass um, there really isn't a whole lot of difference in taste, though while we were doing our experiment, we did find one very unique difference in some of these glasses. And it's the amount of beer that you naturally put in your mouth to swallow. Um, the wine glass tends to give smaller sips, and so does the dogfish head, <coughs> excuse me, pardon me, dogfish head 60 minutes, or uh, IPA glass, whereas the Shaker Pint and the Sam Adams glass, naturally you get a little bit more beer to swallow. And I think it's because, well, though this doesn't follow true with the wine glass, because of the wider rim. Now my wife 
who is my partner in this, said that this glass is just too heavy and leads to smaller sips to her. But this is a unique um, pint glass. It's got a couple extra inches of glass on the bottom, and it is really heavy. Um, it, this is it feels like a man's pint glass. I mean, it's it, no joking around. It's super thick, thick glass, um, and it is a heavy glass, especially with 12 ounces of liquid in it. So at this point, um, we've determined which ones are inappropriate for beer. We're going to finish these beers off and come back with the, some final thoughts. All right, so we've concluded our experiment. We've drank all the beer out of all the glasses, um, except for the little shot glass there, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the coffee cup is not even here anymore because, like we said, totally inappropriate glass for beer. It just, it just didn't work. Sorry, coffee cup. You're out. Um, you've been eliminated. Take a hike. You're fired. Whatever you want to say. Um, now, for the rest of these, like I said, this one uh, held true to the end. Really fun little glass to drink out of would be great for sampling. Other than that, not really good for enjoying a, a full glass of beer with your buddies or whatever. Um, now, the wine glass, surprising, excuse me, surprisingly good a beer drinking glass. Um, other than it forces a smaller sip. Uh, up till the very end. The very end, once you really had to start tilting the glass, uh, your swallows got a little bigger. But up till then, I don't know if it's the daintiness of it, the fact that you know it's a mine glass, if it's a mine game, but it really did seem to force a smaller sip. So this glass may actually be better for a stronger beer or a bourbon barrel aged beer or something that you didn't want to hammer out. You know, um, 9%, 10% and on up beer, this may actually be a, a better choice than a standard beer glass. Um, that's our opinion. Um, you can have your own, that's fine. Feel free to debate it in the comments. This glass. Dogfish Head IPA. Now, it did make a surprising comeback at the end. Once you start getting down to the last few sips of beer, all these little ridges right here, Force the beer to recarbonate, rebuild a head, fills the glass with aroma. At the very end of the beer. I don't know if it's worth it to drink the whole beer because here's the problem with this glass. And I'll try to show you. At least if you've got a big nose like me or a long face, you're going to have this problem. As you tilt the glass, boom, right there. It's against my nose and it's uncomfortable. And in order to get much past halfway down this glass, you have to start leaning your head back, tilting your chair back, just to get to the beer. Totally annoying. Totally ruins the beer drinking experience. It's an annoyance. I don't want to have to put up with it. Also, this glass is made out of paper thin glass. And they say that's to help transfer the heat of your hands to warm your beer up, whatever. Serve your beer at the right temperature, you don't have a problem. Feels like you're going to break it. It's dainty and feels like if you just touched it wrong, if you set it down too hard, you're going to break it. I'm not going to recommend this glass unless you really want to enjoy the last few sips of your beer. Maybe... Enjoy your beer in a real glass. When you get down to the end, pour it in this to enjoy it. But whatever you want to do. As far as dogfish head goes, you make some decent beers, but your glassware, I'm not into it. So we're down to the Sam Adams perfect pint and a classic shaker pint. Where there's so many people that want to get rid of this. Beer geeks, snobs. You guys are nuts. This is this is a good beer drinking vessel. It holds one pint. You're not going to get shorted on beer. It tastes good throughout. It's easy to drink out of. It's classic. It's nice. It's robust. The aroma comes through fine. The taste comes through fine. It sits on your lip fine. Everything's fine about it. It may not be perfect for any style, but if you ask me, it's perfect for every style because you can enjoy your beer out of that glass. Now, not to be a salesman, but the Sam Adams Perfect Pint, made out of nice, thick, solid glass, um, 
it too has a little bevel down here so the end of your beer does recarbonate a little bit with every sip but this glass with the bevel right here sits so nicely on your lip it's got a nice wide opening forces a big sip of beer and it also it sits on that lip so well it fits your nose you know all of these glasses force your nose into the glass you're gonna smell the beer with every sip that holds true to all of them except the coffee cup and our little sampler cup but all the rest of them forces your nose right in there you're getting a good whiff of the beer you're tasting the beer it comes down to a matter of comfort and what's comfortable for you and this or this both just as comfortable in a hand maybe this is a little bit more with its little ridge there but both really comfortable secure grips on them they don't feel like they're gonna break both allow a nice good swallow of beer frankly there's nothing wrong with either one of them fine fine glassware now so uh, basic conclusion if it's comfortable in your hand it's got a wide enough opening for you to smell the beer when it comes into your mouth it's a good glass find one that fits your hand don't worry about finding one that's the right style because really in all the tastings except for the coffee cup wasn't any difference between them they all smelled about the same they all tasted about the same there really wasn't a difference so if you're drinking beer to enjoy beer find a glass that you like and stick with it that's it end of story simple as that but now if you want to find a class that says you can chug a beer in less than a second go for the shot glass have a good night